Hi everyone, this is the Grooming Chick, and today we're going to dehydrate uh, diced potatoes that you buy at the grocery store. They are pre-diced. Um, this just happens to be Simply Potato Brand, but Orida makes, makes them also. And these have onions in them. Uh, these are great to use in hash browns. You can also uh, use these in uh, soups. Now, the first time I done these, I did these in an old dehydrator that I had that did not have the temperature setting. All I had was the coal in the bottom, and it burnt them. And I would have thrown these away, but I knew I was going to be doing a video on how to do these potatoes. And I wanted to show you how bad they look. Um, these, I will throw away. I will not use these. They look really bad. This is what they should look, look like. Now, this is two bags of these potatoes. And look how beautiful they turned out. These will be great in a soup or to make hash browns out of. Now, when you go to reconstitute these, you'll use one cup of hot water and one cup of potatoes and uh, let them reconstitute and then put them in your uh, soup or whatever. But these will be fabulous to use. And they're really simple to do, but they do take a long time to dehydrate because you want them thoroughly, thoroughly um, dehydrated. You want all the moisture out of them. So it will take about 24 hours to dehydrate, but you will get a great product. They will be great to take backpacking, um, just um, camping. These are a great uh, something to have in your pantry. So, um, you will place these on your dehydrator, and I did let these thaw out to um, save in the de uh, dehydrating time, so it will take less, but these I did not let thaw, and they took about 24 hours. So, um, I thought if I let these thaw out, it might take less time, and I'm going to spread these out in a single layer on my dehydrator tray. And you'll just continue to um, empty your bags on your tray and spread them out. So we will be about um, one bag will fill up about one and a half trays on your food dehydrator. If you have the round top tray uh, dehydrator like I've got, I've got the Nesco um, Professional. So. Um, you set your food dehydrator on 135, and I'm just going to show you one bag. I've got it set on 135, and um, we will start checking it about eight hours in, and uh, uh, you may want to sample one potato, and that way you'll know. Um, now, I have had to go to work when it was just about done, but not quite. So when it got to that point, I set it all the way down to the lowest temperature setting and let it go uh, all the way um, while I was at work. And when I got home, they were done. They were perfect. So um, that way they didn't get overly done and overly hard, but they were done when I got home. But you start out at 135. And this is what you will get. You will get a great product to have in your pantry to take backpacking, camping. Uh, great for soups, stews, and you know you could even use these even when you aren't back backpacking and camping. But when you go to dehydrate or rehydrate them, it is a one-to-one -one ratio with the water. And uh, this is what you don't want. You don't want them looking like this, all brown and hard and yucky. You want them to look like this. These are done through and through, nice and hard but they are still the nice uh, light color and like I said you want to sample them and make sure that they are done all the way through and if you don't want to bite into it take a knife cut it with a knife and make sure there is no moisture left in your potatoes really simple to do great to have on hand and like I said there are different brands these happen to have onions in them you can buy them without onions just whatever your personal preference is but um, this is something that I think you're really going to enjoy having until the next time, this is a proven chick out.